acting a little bit like a Jack the Lad in some cases is a very, very effective mirror. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 41 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about the Jack the Lad mirror. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link below to get the additional 17 strategies that are not shared in this training. So fundamentally, uh, someone who's a, you know what, let's, let, let's Google it. What is a Jack the Lad? Give me a second. I'm going to Google it and then I'm going to show you. Someone who's a Jack the Lad is someone who's considered a brash, cocky young man, a cocky Jack the Lad, right? So um, it is um, an explanation and, and let's go into it. Uh, British blah, 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 origins. Um, is this going to show you the thing that I'm looking for? Nope, it's giving you stuff that is irrelevant, but I'm looking for the colloquialism. Jack the lad, here we go, here we go. A young man who behaves in a very confident way. So that's the positive side of it. The negative side of it is, here we go. The negative side of it is a, a brash, cocky young man, but that's not the only definition as we can see there. Um, so if we go into this one, uh, Jack the lad. <clears throat> self-assured carefree and brash young man a chancer so 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 so, so basically um uh, the jack the lad mirror is someone who's quite self-assured and who's a little bit of a chancer in terms of taking a risk on a phone call okay because we're talking in the context of phone calls so someone who's a bit of a jack the lad would use um <clears throat> expressions or rather use expressions as well as have a a diction that's something on the lines of Hello, mate. How you doing, fella? You good? Yeah, you all right? Yeah, it's Deepak. How you been, pal? How you been? You been all right? Yeah, amazing, amazing. So, um, yeah, I was just, I was just thinking, like, oh, Christ, what are, you, what are you up to on Friday, man? So, 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 guys, can you see the kind of image I'm trying to communicate? And an example of someone who's using this kind of um, style, this would be, you know, a, a, a mimicry approach. In certain industries, it probably works quite well. Would not work well in law. It could work well if you're calling a, I mean thinking about the clients, we've had a CBD shop or a vape shop, you could be calling builders, you could be, you know, apply, you know home, home, home services, it could work with particular people within home services. Um, it could work with like mechanics and stuff like that. It's like, hello, Frank, how you doing? You know, th those kinds of um, uh, businesses or people when you when you when you call and connect with them, that's where a Jack the Lad mirror, me sipping a cup of coffee, is going to work quite well. Be, uh, hello frank say done hello hello frank hey done mate you good yeah yeah i'm all right what can i do for you yeah so, so so do you see that what can i do for you what do you want or as it going yeah yeah you're all right mate so all of this kind the, the, that element of style I, I don't know how it like uh transitions internationally let's say but having the ability to use the jack the lad is very very powerful when it comes to your calls and um when it comes to the the, the bit that the, the chancer element that we discussed, let's just see if I've got that page up still. Um, let's see what else it says about this suitable expression. Unfortunately for him, exploits um, English proverb. Okay, this is going into different stuff that's not relevant anymore. Yeah, young man who behaves in a very confident way. And um, we saw the element of a chancer, right? So it might be something along the lines of. So what I was thinking, Frank, is that you know I set you up with a little phone call with my with my boy with my boy Roger, and uh, we could just see if we can do a deal together. Do you know what I mean? I see what you're saying, but I'm 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 thinking, why not, mate? Just 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 join, go on, just give it give it give it a bit of a nice one. I think we're gonna I think we could work it out. Uh, you know what, mate? I think we could make this work. It, it is what we're gonna do. So basically, it's it's it, using the Jack the Lad in, in in a positive context is where mimicry applies, and where in some circumstances, you can pay deference or pay a reference to a Jack the Lad. If you're in a conversation and saying, you know, if you're referencing, saying, look, I, I, Richard, I could happily call builders all day long. Naturally, it's a little bit more of a, hello, Frank, how you doing, fella? You good, pal? So when it comes to that, Richard, we would be the best people for the team. So can you see that when you, you, you can use the Jack the Lad when giving examples, but you can use it really in a mirroring context. And the chancer thing is a bit of a, go on, I think we can figure this out. We're your guys. 
you know what, mate, I reckon I reckon I can work around that. So 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 that kind of elemental style with the angles being in reference to, you know what, mate, I'm going to figure it out. Don't you worry, old boy. I've got your back. Don't you worry, old boy. So a lot of these elements refer to that kind of, at least in my mind, the, the, the Del Boy and Rodney Cockney East End Londoner who is selling, for example, jewellery on, 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 at the Sunday market. And, and when you bring that into a call, when you bring that into a call, then for, for, for sure you're going to be able to fundamentally um, bring, bring, bring a lot of mimicry to the table because in front of the right person, that is exactly the way that you should be leading the call when you're mirroring what it is that you hear. And in certain industries, it's going to work really well. So get into using a little bit of the chat the lad mirror. Remember, we've got 1717 gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.